Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. I'm feeling a lot better now, so I'm getting back to work. Lots of amps to fix. So, another Heathkit SB220. Great amp. So I'm going to go through this, do all the modifications. Uh, this breaker is open, so I'm going to change both. With brand new ones. Grind the grids, get rid of RL measure stuff. I'll show you the top two. Someone did the bias mod, but I'll redo it. Change electrolytic. Make everything nice, nice. SO239s feel okay. I'll flip it over and I'll show you the top. Be right back. And I'll get rid of the RL measure stuff. Change plate blocker. Fan switch looks okay. Air variable on the plate side looks okay. I'll get a brand new meter board, brand new filter cap board. I'll install, assemble and install Harbach Genuine Harbach kits. I'll re-enable the high voltage crowbar. So I'm gonna get to work and I'll see you soon. Someone added a series glitch resistor. I'll put a new one in and uh, touch up on solder joints, tighten hardware. So stay tuned. Lots of work to do. Okay, so let me do a quick video here. There's someone a while back made a comment about something I said in one of my videos. As most people know, there are some fake Harbach boards out there. They're not nearly as well designed or constructed or used as good of board material. <clears throat> so, I had said something about the ground connection for all the ground points. Anything that requires chassis ground. See, there's another board that's sold that just uses the solid wire. The problem is that solid wire is connected to a solder tab that has a wood type screw that's carrying it to the chassis. This is the old Zener that'll be coming out. So, on the Harbot board, it actually has aluminum standoffs that give an additional two ground points to the clamshell, which is that ground potential that holds the capacitors in place for the plate supply. So, so the person made a comment, they're like, well, why don't you use four aluminum standoffs? So I don't think this person really knows much about high voltage. Here's the rectifier a full wave doubler. So, if high voltage points are here and over here, so they can end up flashing. Actually, if high voltage point right here too, in that edge, the corner. I'm sorry, no, I had that backwards. They're over here. So if you had stand offset chassis potential, it could flash from here to here, possibly from here to here, from over here to here. So that's why the kit comes with phenolic standoffs for those points. That's why the stock board also has phenolic standoffs for the two points that are close to the diodes. There's the old board. I always change the board. I always, 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 always. Gives you meter protection diodes. Just a better board. Resistor value shift over time. <laughs> I'll uh, explain why I put the series glitch resistor between the board and the feed through. Allows some air around it. If it were to be mounted directly to the board or even off the board a little bit, you have a lot of heat there. You know, as you're using the amp and you're you know pulling current through the resistor, the resistor is dissipating heat. So you end up with a lot of heat in the area where it's mounted. I'm going to get to, uh, back to work, so that's a quick explanation, and 
a lot to do on this amp, so I'm gonna get back to work. See you guys soon. I got the meter board and filter cap board in. Has the wrong feed through insulator. This is the feed through part. Let's see this it's sitting up against it like that. Not correct. So I'm gonna change it out with the right one. Be back soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed SB220. Works as it should. Got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company, awesome uh, customer service. So I'm gonna go over everything I did real quick. It has been a long day and I am tired. So I goofed and hooked the ground wire up over here by accident, caught it before I connected the rest of the wires. Customer called me, it's just been, the phone's been off the hook. I'm gonna start putting my phone on um, do not disturb again, and I'll just call people back when I take breaks here and there. So, you meter lamp bulbs, series glitch resistor, there's air around it, so it's not heating any components. Zip tied all the wiring, the metering board, the Harbach filter cap board, genuine boards, brand new plate blocker, new strap, new parasitic suppressors. I use 51 ohm. Allen Bradley 2 watt carbon comps, best type you can use. Fan's good. Every cap is good. The plate siding the load. Cleaned the contacts on the band switch. Cleaned the contacts on the input rotary switch. Place the B negative wire. Place the B positive wire. So I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, so I've got my pointer. Change the cap over here. Touched up on solder joints. New circuit breakers. A lot of times when the transformer pushes down on the chassis, if it's had a hard trip during shipping, it'll break the bottom circuit breaker. So there's a gap between the breaker and the floor, so this one's good. So brand new. Reclamp this wire over here, resoldered it, a filament connection. Grounded the grids, got rid of that oil measure stuff, put some silicone on this exposed wire over here. Uh, someone added these tubes to insulate them from each other, so I left it alone. Um, it is fine, I just, uh, you don't want to open up a can of worms if you don't have to. Uh, these relays can be really delicate, you know, so it works as it should, so I do not want to damage it. I'll just add it add more expense uh, to the customer. So the output lead is soldered well, it was like that. I put some silicone underneath, it has ample space, but uh, I just wanted to put some under just in case. I uh, got the green wire from this side and put it over here. And uh, resolder the output safety choke, replace the positive lead for the relay coil and zip tied to so take the strain off the contact. Bias mod was already done, but I, I fixed the solder joints. So, uh, cut this wire for the terminal strip. It was too long. I replaced these two wires, uh, silver plated stranded center conductor, Teflon jacket, resoldered the ground lead for the cord. Uh, like I said, check the SO239 connectors, they are good. Uh, clean the contacts in the TR slash bias relay. And that's about it. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Here's the old circuit breaker. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Websites are amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. One of these was bent, so I bent it back and put cap nuts uh, on the other side of the screw to secure it. And uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I am better. So back to the amplifiers. I have a uh, SB200 to do tomorrow. Uh, I have more on the way. 
another hardbuck order just came in a little while ago, so I'll fill that and I'll get that out in the morning. So, thank you all for the positive comments about the COVID and for watching my videos and for all the other comments. I do my best to respond. So, thank you again. And yeah, I need to get back on that multi band amp. I just have been so busy. That HF80 stuff, I'll oh, forget it. I don't know if I'm going to get to the column stuff till like I retire someday, but I need to get that multi band amp done before, um, this year. So, just uh, customers' work comes first um, and the, the hardbox kits. So, again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. 73.